Talk of reinstating impact fees in Sarasota County moves one step closer to becoming a reality. SNN's Allison Henning is live in the newsroom with the story. Allison, is this a done deal? Impact fees are in? John, the Sarasota County School Board voted 3-2 to two in favor of reinstating school impact fees during a meeting this Tuesday, but at this point their votes are only a recommendation. The reinstatement of school impact fees is a hot topic on the Sun Coast as several areas develop and experience growth. Local governments charge school impact fees and new home builders pay for them. The fees help pay for new schools and other developments that become necessary as an area grows. After much discussion over the past four months, Sarasota County School Board members cast their votes at a meeting on Tuesday. The majority voted in favor of lifting the moratorium that's been in place since 2010. School Board member Jane Goodwin suggested keeping the fee low. And I think we start there, we go forward, and if we need to elevate it, because things change a great deal, then we're in a position to do that. If approved, school impact fees will be assessed at the same rate put in place before the moratorium. And some are concerned that $2,032 per single family home is not going to be enough to keep up with the growth in Sarasota County. It's a teeny tiny impact fee. It only provides one fourth of the money that's needed to build the new schools. Six new schools over the next 10 years to accommodate growth. Dan Lobeck with Controlled Growth Now says the cost of growth should not be put on the backs of taxpayers. Growth should pay its own way. If growth doesn't pay its own way, you end up with inadequate facilities, higher taxes, or both. It's true with roads, it's true with other public facilities, it's certainly true with schools. The school board members vote in favor of reinstating school impact fees is only a recommendation at this point. Sarasota County Commissioners will have the final say in the decision. When will we find out more on this, uh, Allison? John, while the County Commission is scheduled to vote on the issue on December 8th, and if approved, it would take 90 days for it to go into full effect. All right, we'll keep watching it. Thanks, Allison.